Well, there she is, folks. Megan Kelly, never been one of my favorites, but here we go once again. They show a picture of one of the housewives from whatever one of those screwy-ass shows are dressed up like Diana Ross for Halloween, so she puts up some darker tint makeup because Diana Ross is a black woman. And they turn this all the way back to blackface from 1800 and something. Roland Martin comes out here shooting his mouth off about 400 years of slavery in the United States, which isn't 400 years old and doesn't make a comment in hell about all the blacks that are still in slavery in Africa, harvesting God knows what, be it be shrimp, sugar cane, bananas, whatever. They're not allowed to escape. They're beaten, killed, tortured. Don't worry about that. But no, if I got a little girl that wants to be a black character from TV for Halloween, so she puts on some toner, oh my God. So here it is again. Right? What, what, what blacks and all the blacks in outrage are all multi-millionaires that only got their break and only got their way in the society because of the Caucasian, because of the white man recognizing that everyone is created equal. But no, no. You still got to have N-words. You got to call each other the brother. We're, we're getting together with the brothers. Who the hell are the damn brothers? That's very racist and offensive. But the, but no race in the world. You don't hear the Hispanics out there crying the blues every day about everything. You don't hear the Asians out there crying the blues about everything every day. Hell, you don't even hear the LBGTQ confusion out there every minute of every day crying the blues one more time uh, in, in mass offense for everything. There was even some poor little girl there the other day on Dr. Phil. Father's dead, but he was white. Her mother's black. So the, the little 16-year-old girl chooses to identify as Caucasian because she has straight hair and a different shaped nose than what she sees on most black people. And oh, oh, Dr. Phil attacked her, said she was not welcome in the Caucasian community. Really? But any mixed child out there, if they, if they just choose to associate as being black, it's heralded as another freaking victory. So you had Barack Obama's father was black, his mother was white. They didn't call him mixed. They said he was black because his father was black. All right, well, then if you go that way, this poor little 16-year-old girl that was attacked by Dr. Phil in the audience, her father and her dead father that she grieves for was white and her mother was black. So by those same standards where everybody cried about Obama, then she would be Caucasian if you're going to go with the blood of the father. So if we have to figure out what the hell we're going to do with these mixed people because they're all over the place now and they really don't fit in any category. What, are you going to have the whole country call themselves other? Or just do away with the whole damn uh, ethnicity altogether? Which should have been done a long time ago. I'm not a European American. I'm just an American. Think what a country we'd have if everybody that was a citizen of this great country just referred to themselves as an American and not trapped themselves in a little hyphenated box because they feel slighted and offended for shit that happened so many frickin' years ago that nobody even knows what the hell it is anymore. And as Hillary Clinton said about ben Benghazi, and at this point, what difference does it make? Can't change the past, but every time I turn around, there's another black sheriff, another black governor, another black senator, running their damn mouth, another black movie star, running their damn mouth, being offended. But I don't see the Hispanics doing it. I don't see the Asians doing it. So 
there it is, man. Just take a back seat. So now what are you going to do? Cancel making Kelly's show, take all her money away, put her on a shelf, tie a rope around her neck and drag her behind a 1949 Ford until she dies because she's talking about Halloween costumes. She also talked about what if a little black girl wants to be Elsa from Frozen. So she puts on light skin toner so she matches the character. What the hell is going on in this country? But anyway, when I have to stick up for Megyn Kelly, something's going on. But there you go. There it is. And, but we know the networks are all racist anyway. So there you go. Offended black community, just go the hell away. Give your money up. Do something for your own people. Do something for my people besides bitch. That's what I got for the day. Out.